President Obama used a major speech to deliver a sharp attack on today's politics without mentioning his successor's name. Take a listen. Look around. Strongman politics are ascendant, suddenly. But those in power seek to undermine every institution or norm that gives democracy meaning. Unfortunately, too much of politics today seems to reject the very concept of objective truth. People just make stuff up. We see the, the utter loss of shame among political leaders where they're caught in a lie and they just double down and they lie some more. If I say this is a podium and you say this is an elephant, it's going to be hard for us to cooperate. And as with the denial of rights, the denial of facts runs counter to democracy. It could be its undoing. Obama also defended the free press, warning social media was being used for spectacle, outrage, and disinformation, and called anyone intent on putting people down and puffing themselves up as small-hearted and afraid. Well, Nelson Mandela today it is the 100th anniversary of the anti-apartheid leader Nelson Mandela's birth. And that includes Barack Obama, who paid tribute today during a speech in Johannesburg, South Africa. Madiba's light shone so brightly, even from that narrow Robben Island cell, that in the late 70s, he could inspire a young college student on the other side of the world to re-examine his own priorities, could make me consider the small role I might play in bending the arc of the world towards justice. And when later, as a law student, I witnessed Madiba emerge from prison, just, just a few months, you'll recall, after the fall of the Berlin Wall, I felt the same wave of hope that washed through hearts all around the world. Former U.S. President spoke to about 14,000 people at a cricket stadium. It was his highest profile speech since leaving office.